Hi everybody, this is Guy from Tap With Us and today I'm going to show you how using your Tap XR can easily speed up your workflows when working with this. Whether you're a digital artist, an animator or a designer, this video is for you. So let's dig right in. Okay, so here I've got my iPad and my Apple Pencil, but uh, it can be any device that supports Bluetooth keyboard. That's just what I happen to have here. I've got uh, Photoshop for tablet open, but it can easily be Procreate or Adobe Fresco or any other app that utilizes keyboard shortcuts. I've got a new document open and a custom app preloaded to my Tap XR. we'll get to that later. And I just wanted to show you how with just my five fingers I can do most of my work. I can create a new layer, increase. Or decrease my brush size. I can swap colors and most importantly I can undo or redo if I need to. If that's not enough I can use other tools like a lasso tool. I can uh, fill my selection, cut to new layer and uh, transform it. You get the idea. For some of you, it might not seem like much, but if you have even little experience, you know that when walking for hours, those tiny micro gestures really add up. And that's just time that you're not making money. Besides the time, it is also about comfort. Instead of one hand doing all the work, or two hands competing for the same space, this makes every surface your touchscreen. So you don't have to worry about it. You can easily take it off and wear it, and if you need to suddenly go somewhere, you can just close it and it will turn off. And you're free to go. Push it back out and you're ready to walk again. Now before I'll show you how to map your tap like that, I want to go through another example. For that I'll switch to Adobe Illustrator, but before I'll do that, I'll load the Illustrator tap map. To load the custom map, I'll open the tap manager app. Go to maps, and under the private maps tab, I can find the maps that I've created. I'll choose the illustrator of a tablet map and I'm almost ready to go. I just need to make the map active. To do that, I can either go to settings, mapping, and select the map that I want, or I can use the shortcut, which is switch or the last three fingers. And then tap C, which is all the fingers except the index finger. I get a haptic feedback and I know it's changed. Now I'll we'll open Adobe Illustrator and I'll start by creating a shape. I assign to these fingers the option key with the whole feature. With that, I can break off the handles and manipulate the shape in a way that I can't really do easily with just my pen. I can also lock the shape movement, copy it, I can now select both shapes, open the shape builder tool and subtract unwanted parts. Not only that I can do it with few simple taps, I can also do it while lying on my sofa and tapping on my belly. And if you have a healthy belly like I have, that's a really nice surface to tap onto. Now I want to show you the process that I used to create my custom maps. To create a map, I need to go to my computer. Open a browser and go to our website, tapwithus.com. There, you can find the mapper tool. You can also just go to map.tapwithus.com and it will get you there. Here you can see the map store where the user created and published helpful maps. To create a new map, I'll go to the map creator. It will ask me to log in first, but I'm already logged in. Just make sure that you sign in with the same email that you used to sign in to Tab Manager, or else your maps won't be shown there and you won't be able to load them. So here in the Map Creator, you can see a table of possible tabs. Each one of those colored circles indicate which fingers needs to be tapped. You can select one and this panel will pop up. Here you can insert the keys that you want to be pressed. I can put Command and Z, and in the description, I'll write undo. And there you have it, a shortcut assigned to a tab. You can also have multiple modifiers selected like Command, Shift, 
and Z. And that will be redo. To assign a held modifier, I just need to insert which modifier or modifiers I want, and then click the hold button. To save and load my map, I'll first enter a map name, and then click save map. This will automatically take me to my private zone, where I can see my maps. And if I want, I can just open them and edit them again if I need to. Now I can go back to Tab Manager and my new map will be available. Now before we wrap up this video, I want to show you one last thing. This might be one of TabXR's biggest strengths. If you are working with tablets like Wacom Cintiq or even your desktop or laptop, where you have the full featured Photoshop software or any other shortcut heavy program, you can make a map that has a sequence of multiple actions assigned to one tab, also known as a macro. Let me show you. Here I have a map I made that contains different macros. To make one, it's super easy. I'll select a tab, I'll insert the first action that I want to happen. In this case, I want the command shift J which is cut to a new layer. And then I click the plus button next to the macro label. And then I will duplicate the layer with command J. After that, I will select everything with command A. I will delete with backspace. Then I will deselect with command D. After that, I'll create a new clipping mask with Option Command G, and in the end, I will add B for the brush tool. And now let's save these changes and hop into Photoshop to see what we've got. Here in Photoshop, I have a drawing colored with flat colors, and it's all in one layer. And now I can select with the one tool one of the colors and start the macro sequence. Now I have that color separated on a new layer add a new layer with the clipping mask on top of that. And with my brush tool, I can immediately add shadows. I can have a similar action to create a new mask layer to add the highlights. You can now see that it's really up to you to make tap your own. You can type with it, you can animate with it, you can even control your smart TV with it. So try it. You can buy TapXR on Amazon or on our website. I'll put the links in the description below and after you use it, give us your feedback so we could make this the best tool for your needs. As you can see, TapXR can really save you a lot of time, which means you can work more or spend some more time with your friends and family. If you didn't find it helpful, there's a 30 day money back guarantee. So basically, it's a risk free experience. Tap also comes with a 12 month warranty and it ships worldwide. So I really urge you to give this one a try. Till next time, bye bye.